Hey, thanks for joining me today. It is Monday, January 25th. Thanks for joining me. Thanks for hitting that like button and sharing this video with someone else. That's really what I need to keep this channel off of life support. I have the exact same number, flame on, the exact same number of subscribers today that I did back in September of last year. It's as if there's a force outside of my control that's uh, keeping everything level and making sure that this channel doesn't grow, but I have no evidence of that, so we just gotta keep grinding away, keep trying to grow the channel. You can help me sharing this video with someone else. Last video, I asked for 100 likes. We got 84, that's a solid B. But again, my goal for this video, 100 likes. Smash that like button, I really appreciate it. Today, I wanna talk about this data breach for Meet Mindful. That's a niche dating site. And uh, a lot of user data was exposed last week. Let's go to the article from ZDNet. A well-known hacker has leaked the details of more than 2.28 million users registered on Meet Mindful, a dating website founded in 2014 ZDNet has learned this week from a security researcher. The dating site's data has been shared as a free download on a publicly accessible hacking forum known for its trade in hacked databases. The leaked data, a 1.2 gig file, appears to be a dump of the site's user database. The content of this file includes a wealth of information that users provided when setting up their profile on the Meet Mindful site and mobile apps. Some of the most sensitive data points included in the file include real names, email addresses, city, state, zip codes, body details, dating preferences, marital status, birth dates, latitude and longitude IP addresses, uh, hashed account passwords, Facebook user IDs, Facebook authentication tokens. Now, messages exchanged by users were not included in the leak file. However, this does not make the entire incident less sensitive. While not all leaked accounts have full details included, for many Meet Mindful users, the provided data can be used to trace their dating profiles back to their real-world identities. The site's data was released by a threat actor who goes online by the name Shiny Hunters, who earlier this week also leaked the details of millions of users registered on Teespring, a web portal that lets users create and sell custom printed apparel. The leak of this highly sensitive data represents a looming issue for the site's users and the main reason why Meet Mindful needs to notify account holders. Yeah, can you believe that? They haven't even notified the account holders yet, according to this article. Now, what are some things that you can do to safeguard your data when you're using dating sites such as this? This Meet Mindful, if you're unfamiliar, it's a niche dating site. They concentrate on people that are spiritual or maybe they're religious, but they want to have a more mindful connection than, say, Tinder, you know, less Tindery than Tinder. They're looking for long-term relationship with someone that shares their values uh, when it comes full to mindfulness, spirituality, religion, things like that. And that can be scary if you're looking for someone and then all this data is released online. It may just get someone to leave all the dating sites and just be alone. And that's, that's sad. So here's some things that you can do to make your privacy a little bit more secure. The first thing is you don't have to link your Facebook or Instagram account to these dating sites. I understand that it's easier to upload pictures when everything is linked together, but you don't need to do that. In fact, I wouldn't link a Facebook or Instagram account to any other service because you're just looking for trouble. Also, you don't need to use the same email address that you use all the time for your regular correspondence. So, for example, let's just say I had an old email address, tomcoffee at aol.com, right? Old school. 
I wouldn't want to use that on a dating site because my actual name is linked to the profile. And you don't want your actual legal name linked to these kinds of things so they can be cross-referenced. You know, use your use another email address that doesn't have your name in it. That's something also that you can do. You don't need to give them permissions for everything. Knowing your location, all of these types of things. You don't need that on these dating sites. You don't need to give them permission to look at everyone in your contact list. That's why I personally have two phones. I have my regular phone and I do have a burner phone and the burner phone is not linked to my name. I got this just for uh, two-factor authentication and I only use it on other accounts. So you can have a separate phone. You can even just get a separate phone just with, with texting, uh, really cheap so that you can use it to authenticate these accounts and not directly tie it to your real name. And if you use one of these other accounts for your dating sites, then you don't have to give them your entire contact list. Okay? So that's one of the advantages of having a second phone that you can do this type of thing. But what I'd like to know from you is, do you have some other tips on anything that you can do to protect your privacy on these dating sites, such as the Meet Mindful. And let me know your thoughts in the comments. Hit that like button. Have an awesome day. Peace.